Hey there everybody, let's go through this quick tutorial here on how to create a simple application using the Juice SDK and Introducer. Uh, the Juice SDK is a cross-platform C++ uh, software development kit and the Introducer is an application that lets you easily build apps using the Juice Toolkit. So let's go ahead and download that here from the website. We'll go ahead and uh, download for Linux here. I'm using a Linux box, but this is cross-platform, so it's available for uh, Windows, Mac, and uh, Linux as well. So uh, let's go ahead and set this up through Linux. Uh, we're going to use Make, and uh, that's just to make it uh, much simpler to use. Okay, so here we've already uh, downloaded the uh, the toolkit in the background. It's just a zip package. All you can, all you need to do is just uh, unzip that thing. And I've already done that here in my documents folder under Juice Linux here. And uh, in the root folder of that, well, I'm sorry, if in the root of that folder, uh, you'll see the Introducer app right here. Um, let me just go ahead and close this out real quick in the background. And we're going to go ahead and open the Introducer. And this is the application you use to build Juice apps, or rather you can use it. Uh, you can also build things from scratch, but this just makes it a lot easier. So let's go ahead and go here to the GUI application. We're just going to create a simple GUI app. And I'm going to go ahead and locate my folder where I want that project to show. And that's going to be in here in the projects folder. Let's go ahead and uh, call this uh, GUI, GUI demo. And I'm going to uh, use a Linux make file for this one. Uh, you can also on Windows uh, set this up for Visual Studio or uh, on Xcode for Mac. Uh, you can also utilize code blocks if you want to. But I'm just going to go the uh, basic Linux route and create a make file with it. You can also change those things later too. Uh, so let's go ahead and create that app. And there we go. And uh, we'll go into the files section here. And I'm going to go into source. And I'm going to deselect uh, main component. And what we're going to do, the reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and delete this. This is um, basically like boilerplate um, uh, files that the, uh, the uh, basic uh, GUI application here uh, provides. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this, both of these to the trash after deleting them. Uh, delete and move to trash. Then I'm going to go into the uh, main app here. Actually, let's go ahead and right click here and we'll go ahead and add new GUI component right here. And let's go ahead and name it GUI. Real simple. Cool. There we go. We've got our new, new uh, GUI uh, C++, C++ uh, uh, file. And uh, it's already uh, set this up for us basically. So what we can do here is start adding controls in. And uh, I'll just go ahead and go with a text editor first. Just something really basic. And I'll add a text button. There we go. Uh, you've got your choice of uh, different uh, GUI. Um, oh, you can actually add uh, components from here as well. And you can add graphic uh, elements as well here. But um, we ju we're just want to go with something simple right now. So. Uh, we can also go over here to the code section and you can see the code that that actually generates. Basically, all that is is a code generator. It lets you draw out the forms visually and it creates the code for you. Now, what we need to do is go back to the main C++ app here. And this is the file that we, do, uh, uh, we uh, deleted earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this to GUI.h because that's the uh, header file for this new uh, GUI component we just created. And I'm going to go uh, and scroll down here a little ways in the app and you'll see this is the main component, main content component that was actually from that prior main component um, uh, C++ file that we deleted as well. So what I'm going to go is go ahead and do is type in a GUI. And that's our component that we just created. And at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and save all. Um, just saving the project just to be on the safe side. And from here, I can go back to my uh, folder where all of that set up. And that's now in projects and in GUI demo. I'm going to go into the build folder right here and Linux. And here's the make file for it that the uh, introducer created. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, open up a term terminal here. And uh, in, I'm here on the elementary OS, 
elementary OS, uh, which is a, an Ubuntu uh, derivative. So if you're on uh, an, any Ubuntu system, you'll have a similar option to open a terminal from the um, uh, from the uh, file manager. So I'll go ahead and open the terminal terminal here. And uh, at this point, I'll just type make, and it will begin compiling that. So uh, from here, this is going to actually take a while. So I'll let this sit for a bit and uh, fast forward it uh, in the video later, and we'll continue off once this is done. All right, there we go. Our uh, file should be built at this point. And mind you, the reason it actually took a while is because we've got a lot of these um, files being linked to. We don't need them all. Um, in this simple GUI app, all you really need is just the, the basics, uh, GUI extra, maybe uh, GUI basics, graphics, um, just those basic things. And that would actually make the compile process a lot quicker. Uh, what we're doing here is uh, compiling basically or linking to basically everything in the juice uh, package. and and that just makes for a large file, though it makes for all of the features of Juice available. So anyway, I'm going to go in here to the folder where I just built that and uh, go into the build folder. And here we have our GUI demo. And that's my text box and, and uh, the button. Um, it, adding code to those particular things uh, it is a little bit more intricate. I'll see if I can get to a uh, video on that shortly. But you can see right here, that's, that's a basic setup. And uh, you've got a neatly compiled app right there. And that's going to be cross-platform. You can port that over to any uh, Windows or Mac system. Code base should uh, basically stay the same when it comes to uh, simple projects like this GUI demo. So anyway, hope that... Uh, Hope that helps and hope to see you around in some other videos.